Now we're going to colour and contour the lips. So I'm going to zoom in on them, command space bar, click and drag. Get onto my lasso tool with the L key. Make a rough selection of the lips. Come to our adjustment layers and click on hue and saturation. Now all we have to do is play with our hue, saturation and lightness here to get the colour that we're after. For example, if we wanted to darken her lips, we may want to first change the colour a little bit. So I might pull the hue slider around until I get a, a nice colour that I'm after. Say a little bit to the left, that looks pretty good. I might darken those lips and maybe bump up the saturation a lot more until we get a nice vibrant red like that, for example. So I'm going to pan out and see what that looks like compared to the rest of the image. And that doesn't look too bad. Now I quite like the colour of that lipstick, however I think I'd prefer some lighter lipstick. And I've already exper experimented with this image, so I'm going to type in these figures. I'm going to type in minus 15 under hue, saturation is going to be 25, and under lightness is just going to be 0. And so that's roughly what I'm after for the time being. And if I option click on the mask, I can see that it's extremely rough and we need to get rid of that and repaint it in a little more accurately. So black is currently my background color. So command delete to fill my mask with the background color. Option click to get back onto the image. B for my brush tool and it's already at 100%. And now I just have to paint that color onto the lips. Just like this. And so that looks a little more natural. Next we're going to give our lips a little bit more shape. And we're going to do this by dodging and burning on a separate layer to create the illusion that these lips are a little bit more three-dimensional than what they actually are. So com hit Command Shift N to bring up our new layer options. And I'm going to call this Lip Contour. Under Mode, we'll scroll down to Overlay. And that'll give us our option to tick this box, which is to fill this layer with grey. So we'll tick that and click OK. So here's our new layer called Lip Contour, which is just a, a layer filled with grey. And it's on this layer we'd, we'll do all our dodging and burning. So Command Space Bar, click and drag over the lips. And to get to our Dodge and Burn tools, we just hit the O key. And it's currently on the Dodge tool, but I want the Burn tool. So I'm going to hit Shift O to scroll through. There we are, we're on the Burn tool, which is that little symbol here that looks like a a little closed hand. Under range with mid tones ticked and a low exposure of say 10% and with protect tones ticked if you have that option in your version of Photoshop we'll start painting in the shadow for starters just underneath this lip the bottom lip to create the illusion that it's just jutting out a little bit further than what, they, than what it actually is. Just for your knowledge in this version of Photoshop we have this option to tick protect tones. Now what that does is and it may not be in your version of Photoshop, but what it actually does is, is normally when you burn something a little too far or dodge, it tends to alter the colors drastically. If you burn something too much, the colors can become very oversaturated. But by ticking this, having this protect tones option, it will allow you to darken an image by burning it, but it won't distort the colors too much. So I'm going to increase my brush a little bit and just gently brush a shadow underneath this bottom lip. We just have to be very careful that we're very gentle with this. And that's probably enough. Now we're going to do the same with the inside, the bottom of the top lip. Just gently run this brush on the inside there. And we'll do the same with the top of the bottom lip. Just darkening it a little bit, creating a little bit of shadow. That's probably enough. Before and after. Now what we're going to do is add a little bit of shine to these lips, as if some light's bouncing off them. And we're going to do that with the Dodge tool. So Shift O to cycle through that submenu until you're on this little lollipop symbol here, which is the Dodge tool. Once again, with mid-tones ticked, and I might just reduce the opacity, uh, the exposure here to 10%. And once again, with Protect Tones ticked, I'll increase my brush with the right bracket key and just gently, once or twice, make a quick pass and add a little bit of light 
to this bottom lip. Just like that. Now I'll just pan out to get a bit of an overview of see what it looks like before and after and it's a, a big improvement. Now there's only one little thing I want to do with this and that is to just create a little bit of a highlight. So I'm going to change my exposure up here to 15%, reduce my brush right down in size and I'm just going to run it along the center of this little highlight here. Just like that. And a little bit at the top of the lips here as well. Command minus to see what, what that looks like before and after. And we've just, by doing that, we've just created the illusion that we've added a little bit of gloss to the lipstick. If I option click on the eye icon, on the left hand side of this lip contour layer, we can see this is what we've done. We've only done this dodging and burning to this layer to get this effect. Command zero to fit to window. And so that's how you can change lip color, add lipstick and contour the lips.